Okay, so um, welcome again to the continuation of our discussion in our registered master equation online review. So at this moment, we will again solve problems that is the problems is commonly um, tackled or uh, have uh, problems that are similar to the problems that came out on the recent RMA body, body exams for the past few years. So at this moment, we will be tackling about um, the effects, the problems which is the concept of the effects of temperature on resistance of a wire. Okay, so maybe we we'll just adjust this one. Okay, so the shunt field winding of a shunt generator has a resistance of 80 ohms at 20 degrees Celsius. After several hours of continuous operation, the winding temperature the winding the winding temperature rises to 50 degrees Celsius. So how much is the winding resistance under this condition assume the resistance temperature coefficient of copper to be 0 0.004 per degree at 0 degrees Celsius okay so we will try to solve this one okay so solution okay so let's try to refresh or to remember the for the formulas on the on the effects of temperature in resistance. So first we have this one, the absolute temperature is the um, reciprocal of the coefficient of uh, the resistance uh, co temperature coefficient of resistance. Then we have also the relationship between two resistances with regards to their temperature this is r1 over r2 uh, r2 over r1 is equal to 1 plus this will be t2 or the final temperature 1 plus t1 Then we have also the other one, R2 is equal to R1, 1 plus alpha delta T, wherein your delta T is equal to T2 minus T1. Okay? So, Let's try to solve this um, problem. Okay, so we will try to find the the temperature coefficient, uh, the winding resistance at fifty degrees Celsius. So, how do we do that? So this is T. Sorry for that. This is T. Okay. So how will we do that? Is first we must find the must have first or determine first are given so we have our temperature coefficient of resistance which is equal to 0 0.004 um, ohm per degree Celsius per degree Celsius okay that is for and then we have also our R1 R1 is equal to 20 degrees at uh, 20 degrees 80 degrees Celsius we have also our T1 which is equal to let's say uh, 20 degrees Celsius so maybe I have interchanged my unit here R1 is not in degrees Celsius but that is in ohms Okay, so this is in ohms. Then we will have our T2. So this is small t. Okay, so we have our T2, which is equal to 50 degrees Celsius. 
then the last one is uh, do we have any other given okay so that is the given so what we have now is we have um, R1, T1, and T2 and we need to find our let's use another color for that our R2 so that is our um, required so we can solve this one by using this um, two formulas this one either we will use this one or we will use this one it's up to you or it's up to you what will we be using so let's try to use first this one let's use this formula so in order to solve for the formula we need to find the t this t or the that is the absolute temperature so we have the formula for t so t is equal to 1 over 1 over alpha 0 or in other cases that will be 1 over alpha plus the uh, t but for this one we are given with the alpha 0 so we just substitute that one this is equal to 0 0.004 Okay, and our T now is equal to, so let's use our very handy calculator. Okay, so we have 1 over, over 0 0.004, that is equivalent to 200, 250 degrees celsius so it means that this is the absolute temperature uh, of the copper in which the temperature coefficient is 0 0.004 ohms so we have now our t so we can solve now for our r2 by using this formula okay so let's try another color of pen so R, R2, R2 over R1 is equal to T plus T2 over T plus T1. So let's substitute. So our R2 is not given. So that is the required. Our R1 is 80 ohms. And our T is 250. Let's resolve that. 250 degrees Celsius. Plus, we have our T2 at 50 degrees Celsius. Over the T again the absolute temperature 50 degrees Celsius 250 degrees Celsius plus uh, T1 which is 20 degrees Celsius so you can use algebra manipulation so we could transfer this one here and you can solve for R2 but I will um, introduce to you a technique so this technique will be discussed in our YouTube live session this coming Saturday so the ship salt technique so this is applicable for 570 uh, ES and MS calculator so all you need to do is to copy the formula so we will have our R2 as our X so the one that is required will be the X so how to do that is just shift uh, no no alpha x so alpha x over so you just copy et so just neglect the um, units then alpha equals then copy everything to 50 plus 50 over 250 plus 20 then you have shift 
scalp or sheaf sole because the the at the upper case of that is sole so sheaf sole then just press equals and you will have your answer which is the value of x is 88.89 so this the our r2 now is equal to 88.89 89 so let's just check for if the ship solve is correct okay so let's have um the manipulation of this one so we have r2 is equal to 80 oops, we have 80 times 250 plus 50 over 250 plus 20 degrees Celsius. So let's, let's copy this to our calculator or input to our calculator. So we have um, we have 80 times 250 plus 50 over 250 plus 20 okay then equals so we have 88.88 or 88.89 so 88.89 ohms so that is now our answer okay so we'll solve for other video we'll solve for um, another example on the effects of temperature in resistance so thank you for watching this video and i hope you learned something and in order to pass the exam keep studying